Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Data science is an emerging field, and as a result, a lot of universities and colleges are offering data science programs for undergraduate students. As a recent graduate with the Bachelor of Science in Data Science, I'm going to talk about my school's data science coursework and if they benefited me in landing a job. And I'm also going to share my opinions on whether it's worth majoring in it. I was actually a computer science major up until the first semester of my junior year, third year in college. During the semester, I got into stock trading and I came across building predictive models for stock prices. The idea of using data to predict stock prices was fascinating to me. And I discovered the field of data science where you can do all these cool things with data. Interestingly, the next semester, my college announced that they're going to have a undergraduate data science program. And when I looked at the coursework, they really excited me. In spring 2019, I officially switched my major from CS to data science. And there's only me and a friend of mine. I guess my school didn't expect that there would be students who are close to graduate to switch their major to data science. So two upper level classes weren't ready to be taught. I'll talk about those two classes here in a bit. Okay, so let me talk about my school's data science coursework. My school's data science program was basically a combination of computer science, stats, and math. First, I'm gonna walk you through the CS classes that I took. So the very first CS class that I took was CS Programming Fundamentals in C++. This class was a fundamental software engineering class where we talk about data types, uh, control structures, functions, arrays, and mechanics of running, testing, and debugging. Next, Computer Science 1 in C++. This course was a continuation of CS Fundamental Programming, and we talked about object-oriented programming here. I remember making a program where you can play rock, paper, scissors against. Next, Computer Science 2 in Java. This course covered the topics of recursion, uh, fundamental data structures, and obviously object-oriented programming. As a final project, we were to create a program where we can buy and sell DVDs, audiobooks, and books. Next, discrete mathematics. This course covered the topics of counting, Boolean operations, logic, proof, recurrence relations, sets, relations, functions, and elementary graph theory and number theory. Next, data structures and algorithms in Java. Now, this class was by far the hardest class I've ever had to take in my college journey. A lot of students end up switching their majors due to this class. Luckily, I survived, but I didn't do so well. This course covered analysis of algorithms, including time complexity, big O notations, um, stacks, queues, trees, including B-trees, heaps, hashing, and some advanced sorting algorithms. Next, database systems. Now, this course was a very enjoyable and relaxing class. It covered how to design a relational database system in SQL. For the group project, we created a TV and movie series database system. Next, big data management and analytics. Now, earlier I mentioned that some of the classes weren't ready to be taught, and this was one of them. They ended up putting me in a graduate level course, and it wasn't just a graduate level course. It was a special course for professionals who were pursuing a master's degree. Since they all work in the industry, the class happened on Fridays from 6 to 10, and it was a pain. This course covered how to map reduce and spark. Next, computational methods for data scientists in Python. Now, this class was a deep learning course where we learned CNN, convolutional neural nets, and RNN, recurrent neural nets. Now, this was another class that wasn't ready to be taught, so I met the professor at his office to learn. I actually enjoyed it because it was basically a one-on-one -on -one with the professor, so I ended up learning a lot. Next, machine learning in Python. The course name pretty much explains everything. It covers the topics of machine learning algorithms, and I enjoyed it a lot. It helped me in getting a job as well. Okay, next, capstone project. It was a semester-long project class. There was a list of companies, sponsor companies, from which you can choose a project. And once the group is matched, then you just work on the project the company provided. Our group ended up working on the project called OCR, Optical Character Recognition, using deep learning. Next, I'm gonna talk about the statistic courses that I took. The first one is data analysis for statisticians and actuaries in R. This course covered the topics of sampling, fitting and testing models, basic regressions, and comparison of population. 
This was my very first R class. Next, probability. It covered all basic statistic theories. Now, this is a class where I learned a lot about statistics and probability and it helped me a lot. Next, mathematical statistics in R. It was a continuation of probability, the previous class, which covered statistical testing such as t-test, f-test, chi-square test, hypothesis test, ANOVA, and etc. Next, numerical and statistical computing in R. Now, this course covered Monte Carlo methods, optimization, and how to generate random numbers. And I learned how to use R markdowns in this class. Next, applied linear models in R. This course covered linear regression, logistic regression, multiple regression, um, diagnosed measures, how to detect outliers, and variable selection. Next, statistical learning in R. This course was essentially the same as the machine learning class, except it was in R. Now, since I took this class along with the machine learning class, it was super helpful as the topics they covered was essentially the same. And then next, the math courses. Now, I took all the basic calculus classes, like calculus 1, 2, and 3, uh, multivariable calculus, linear algebra, and some upper-level proof-based math classes that math majors take that I didn't really find useful. So those are all the data science courses that I had to take from my university. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the courses they offered. All the programming classes were project-based rather than theory-based. So I feel like I learned a lot. I feel doing hands-on projects is much more helpful in gaining practical skills. Also, the knowledge I gained from taking stat classes was very helpful in getting a job. So, is it worth pursuing a data science degree as an undergrad? Well, I think it really depends on what your school offers. I would go through a degree plan and look at the course descriptions and syllabi and make sure if they are project-based classes or not, especially the programming classes. During my interview process, I learned that employers don't really care how you got the knowledge. They care whether you can solve real-world problems or not. The more projects you do, the better you will be at problem solving. So here are some takeaways. First, if your school's data science program offers a good combination of computer science, statistics, and math courses, where you can learn fundamental programming, statistics, machine learning, statistical learning, or deep learning, then I highly recommend majoring in it. Second, if you are a CS major trying to get into the data science field, then I highly recommend taking some basic statistics class and linear algebra if linear algebra isn't mandatory. Also, I would choose to take machine learning, statistical learning, deep learning, or big data as upper level electives if they do offer. Third, if you are a stats or math major, I highly recommend taking some basic programming classes whether it's Python, Java, C++, R, preferably Python and R. And I would take some machine learning, statistical learning classes if they do offer. Now, I'm a firm believer that your knowledge and skills outweigh your degree. If you're an undergraduate student who wants to get into the data science field, then focus on what you can get out of from your classes. Thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, see you.